Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing another artist trading card video and as the last times I'm using pieces of old cardboard to create the artist trading cards. For the background I'm using one of my free printables you can download from my website. Um, you will find a new free printable each week during this corona quarantine time and I will link this up in the description box. I'm measuring the size of the artist trading card and then cut out my paper. I've printed it to a pretty thin quality paper so it's perfect for collaging. I love to create artist trading cards. I think this tiny size is less intimidating than a big uh, art journal page or canvas and you can try out new products or stamps or new techniques. After cutting out the background pieces, I stick them to my cardboard and I use gel medium for that. Gel medium I'm using is the one from Liquitex and I use a scraper tool that is normally meant to be used in the kitchen. And it's perfect, I think, because you don't have to clean it after you use it with gel. And it also gives a very uh, thin layer of medium so it works pretty good. For my main images today I want to use my new textured fishes and I decided to stamp them to a piece of jelly printed paper. I'm using Stazon ink for that because it works better than archival ink on an acrylic surface because it dries a bit faster. All my stamps are red rubber stamps and they are sold unmounted in my store. I will link them up in the description box. And you see me here using them directly on an acrylic block. And that normally works pretty fine as long as you keep the block clean and also the backside of the stamp. I always wipe them with a wet baby wipe and then the stamp stays in place. What you can also do is just use a glue stick and adhere the stamp temporary to the acrylic bolt block. You can easily wipe away the leftover glue with a baby wipe. I sometimes mount my stamps to the easy mount foam and I do this when I have border stamps to get more stability or when I have big background stamps. After the backgrounds are dry, I add a little bit of old book pages and I just use a glue stick for that. If you're interested in some close-up images of the artist trading cards, you will find a blog post linked in the description box. I recently made a bunch of these artist trading cards and I will link all the videos up in the top right corner info box. To blend in the whole background, I'm using a little bit of heavy gesso. Thank you. 
When the gesso is completely dry, I go in with my gelatos and create the background. Unfortunately, I had my camera on pause and I forgot to restart it again. So here I have already added some color to the background and what I did was I just scribbled the gelatos or the distress crayons to the card and then blend it in with my fingers and you see the colors that I've used on my desk. It's one green and three diff different kinds of blues. I think there is almost no difference between the gelatos and the distress crayons. They are both very creamy and they are nice for backgrounds, but I would not buy them again because I often create mud with them and I also don't use them very often. I prefer to use the Neocolor crayons. Those are not very creamy, but they are water soluble and high pigmented. I also add some stamping to the background and I pick the sea plant from the Textured Fishes stamp set. I used Stay Zone to stamp it because I want to go on top again with a wet brush. You will soon see why I do this. So it has to be permanent and I quick heat set it to make sure that everything is dry. I'm using just water with the brush and remove the gelato color from the background and so I lighten up my stamped image to make it more visible. I just activate the color with the border and use a paper towel to pick it up. The colors can be very good removed on the areas with the gesso and not so much on the areas without gesso, but I don't mind that, I think this creates an interesting texture. When I'm done with that, I heat set it with my heat tool and then I go in with some background stamping just to create more interest. I'm using a little bit of white liquid watercolor and create some splatters on the background. When the splatters are dry, I frame the artistrating cards with the black gelato. I think that makes them look um, more, more finished. And I just add a little bit of that black to the edges and then blend it in with my fingers. Now it's time to adhere the fishes. I have cut them out and used some liquid glue. Mm. 
I'm adhering all the fishes and then I also add a short sentiment with the Mix a Sentiment stamp set. What I've also done is I've covered the fishes with the Rembrandt Chameleon watercolors and I used the gold blue green and it creates an awesome shimmer on the fishes but it's hard to see on camera. And that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope we see us next time. Bye!